All right. So here we are. It's our last week. You've got this. We're going to talk about a balanced approach to literacy and what that means in your classroom. Um, to help you out with that, there is just a lot of great articles um, to give you some guidelines. Okay. So first one that you're going to want to read is this really fascinating article by Ann Powell Brown. Can you be a teacher of literacy if you don't love to read? That's a really important thing to think about. And she gives you her thoughts on the matter. And then um, you want to read the response by Kimberly Gomez, another teacher who feels a little differently. Teachers of literacy, love of reading and the literate self, a response to Ann Powell Brown. And see where you fall between these two articles. Then in this week, we're also talking about ideas of censorship. So I've got some articles for you to think about. Books that help, books that heal, deal with controversy in young adult literature by Joni Richards Bo um, Bodart. And this article, I think, was from somewhere in 2002. It's old. But as you can see, there's lots of issues of censorship in the news now. It is a challenging times, um, but it's good to remember this is something that we continue to struggle with um, um, and think about, okay? Then we have this great article by Jarek Krotska, the graphic novelist, um, picture book illustrator, what's appropriate for kids to read? There's value in exposing them to the tough stuff. Reading about difficult subjects might help kids better face them in life. So this is also a fantastic article. Okay, so you need to read all of those, okay, and chapter 13 of the textbook. And then in the LMS, it's just two PowerPoint presentations talking about the balanced approach to literacy, doing different things in the classroom um, to get students excited about reading, and also a, a PowerPoint on um, censorship. There are also some videos about John Green talking about um, his battles with his books being um, challenged and censored. Okay, and then you're going to listen to the Read Aloud of Love by Matt De La Pena. Okay, so here are the articles, and here are links um, to the different presentations and to John green's articles as well okay and this is the final week so your verse novel project is due along with the top 10 takeaways and then that 10-step action plan about how to create passion readers like you know point one a pair a good a large paragraph about for point one about how you're going to create a passionate reader you should be utilizing things that you have learned from this class okay concepts from this class that will help create those passionate readers Okay, I'm excited to read your game plan about how to make your classroom um, full of passionate readers. Good luck.